सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अव वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज कापा कापा इज नथिंग बट करेक्टिव एंड प्रिवेंटिव एक्शन इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट प्लान इन क्लिनिकल रिसर्च मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ करेक्टिव एंड प्रिवेंटिव एक्शन आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल एंड हाउ क्वालिटी इज मेंटेन also i would like to request you to subscribe to this channel so that it brings me motivation to bring you such quality content without further ado let's start so in this particular session we are going to learn about what exactly is kapa how is the kapa process how are corrective actions and preventive actions implemented and how is the kappa action plan made so let's start first and foremost let us understand what exactly is kappa kappa stands for corrective and preventive action so it is a quality management system plan which aims to resolve the compliance issue and to prevent any reoccurrence of the same issue this particular uh, corrective and preventive action plan is crucial to conduct a clinical trial at it helps the cl reduce a clinical trial participant in risk protecting their rights and welfare and it also prevents the study data being compromised this is a quality uh, product quality key factor when it comes to pharmaceutical organization and this process helps to ensure that the products are of higher quality this particular kappa is designed to improve the quality and to handle any non conformity as well as any undesirable situation if a situation is presented then how we can protect them or prevent them in the future and this uh, process is very well defined to support the effective and efficient project management process so that the issues are tackled to its root and we can prevent them from happening in the future so this is about kappa now let us understand what exactly is the process followed in the kappa first is the first step is identification so here we identify a potential issue what exactly is it then we go deep dive into the root cause where we identify what caused this particular issue followed by the prevention here we identify how we can prevent this particular issue in the future and how we can implement the corrective action as well as we implement any preventive action where we can prevent this issue in the future followed by documentation we document this particular issue in a sequential and a detailed manner so that this kappa action can be implemented and we ensure that this particular issue is resolved in the future so in this particular kappa process we ensure that all the issue are identified the root cause is shown how we can prevent and how we can correct and finally how we can document the steps so that we can achieve the resolution and have effective action against the quality issue so now let us see what are the corrective action so corrective action is nothing but an immediate action taken in response to a problem or a quality issue that has already occurred and which has been clearly identified okay so to correct a particular issue whatever the action we take is called as corrective action and there are certain parameters through which we can take this corrective action let us see them one by one first we identify and document issue here we use five wise method as a questioning tool to determine whether if this issue is isolated or does it have any potential impact in the future we ensure that this is a real problem and not perceived problem because there is a difference between a perceived and the real problem what sound concerning to me may not not actually be a problem but a fear of that problem okay so we need to identify the problem the potential issue the scope of the problem second thing is we need to identify how big is the problem how big is the scope of the issue and we need to understand how seriously it can impact your particular study or clinical trial so once you understand the scope of the problem then we can correlate that to the impact also next thing is that once we identify the issue once we identify the scope we need to implement the corrective action or a containment action sometime it not it is not possible that uh, we can correct the issue but we have to contain the issue or sometimes even if we can't contain we need to temporarily repair the issue then how can this problem be avoided while fixing the root cause analysis okay so we need to find the root cause okay we have seen how big is the problem what is the scope 
okay now we need to understand why this problem caused in the first place so for that we need to find the cause of the issue here we use five wise method to determine the root cause of the problem so for all of you who do not know what exactly is five wise so again it is a root cause analysis method where you ask five times why a particular problem has happened for example we will ask why five times so for example if the site coordinator did not ship the blood sample of a particular subject okay so we need to ask her why did she did not ship so what she can answer is that she forgot then we again ask why did she forget then she'll say that she was occupied in other activity then we ask them why were you occupied in other activity then she will answer that she had two trials then we go again ask why did you have two trials then she uh, then they will answer that they are short on manpower then again we will ask why are you short on manpower then you would understand that they they are not recruiting people then at the end of the fifth why we will ask why are you not recruiting people then there is a lower budget so you understand the problem started with the missing shipment of the blood sample the problem ended with root cause that they are not recruiting people to help support clinical trial that is why the issues are occurring okay so at the end of 5y you will find the root cause of the problem so that is 5y method okay now we understand the root cause we find a solution here you make sure that you change the process so that to eliminate the root cause you implement uh, the solution you find a solution you occur change in process change in safety procedure whatever the quality issue is depending upon that and you prevent the problem from occurring in the future then you implement the corrective action your implementation of the corrective action is to ensure that all the important information is well documented and you verify whether the resolution is effective whether that same problem is not being affected by the same root cause and whether whatever the solution are applied that are effective to contain that problem and we give a suitable amount of time so that the problem is not reoccur in the future and the same is evident by the documentation of the continued success so that is the corrective actions corrective action so when it comes to preventive action it means that action taken to eliminate the root cause and affecting the quality issue in the future preventive action also exists to prevent any potential problem in the future and make sure we identify them clearly so that they are not made in the first place now preventive action process means that we have a detailed preventive action plan which create a risk a profile which could identify a potential risk or problem in your action plan finally we have the implementation control where the preventive measures are taken to introduce to be uh, effective in terms of preventive action being implemented and this particular controls are important to prevent and check any possible breaches in the future also so we implement the corrective action also and the preventive measure also then how is this kappa action plan uh, maintained so uh, the kappa uh, plan identifies the issue that arises from the clinical trial and the root cause of this particular issue the kappa action procedures are applied followed by the recurrence problem so we ensure that it does not recur as a quality issue and it should be detailed enough to include uh, all of the following parameters such as a detailed account of what exactly happened then the summary of the investigation and how we root, uh, reach to the root cause and how we perform the root cause analysis finally we describe the root cause in a clear and detailed manner and we list down the corrective and preventive action that are being taken and how we are going to implement them followed by we take signatures of all the parties involved such as principal investigators the research coordinator the quality assurance manager and all the people involved in this particular uh, quality issue so we make sure that the kappa action plan is clear and detailed and this does not have any future impact in terms of quality issue and quality action so this is the kappa action plan so i hope i was able to uh, help you uh, understanding what exactly is kappa and how kappa action plan is implemented thank you for watching this video till the end make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel so that we can bring you additional quality content in the future also thank you Thank you.